All the time that I have spent going to other countries and telling people about the wonders of, of jazz music and its history and the people who made it, I have felt a void because I couldn't demonstrate for them one of the strongest parts of the whole story, the line singing. But have you ever heard white Presbyterians sing that way? I called one of my colleagues. He said to me, it is true that white Presbyterians did sing that way, but you're about 125 years too late to hear it anywhere in the United States. If you go up into the Outer Hebrides and the Highlands of Scotland, it's rumored that there are people there who sing the song in their native Gaelic. And it is reported from eyewitness testimonies that the Gaelic Psalms were performed before and during embarkation onto these ships, taking the people you know, 2,000 miles away. And the Psalms were sung amidst much sobbing. But it often happens that the most marginalized people in one part of the world bring their customs to the most marginalized people of another part of the world. And it turns out so because these customs are, are forms of defense, because they're forms of fellowships. They're a way of encircling that will protect you from other things that go on out there. So how the, uh, the tradition moved from Scotland to the United States is something people will debate. But the fact that, that it did seems to me just beyond question. <laughs>